Hi everybody, it's Jennifer McCreeth. It is October 6, 2015. I'm going to put the camera on my computer for a minute and show you something that's really disturbing. Conservative candidate touts therapies to turn gay youth straight. Is it wrong for a homosexual to become a normal person? Says Mr. Jagdish Gruel. There he is. Normal person, huh, Mr. Gruel? Last time I checked, I believe it was 1973 that being homosexual was no longer recognized as a mental illness. The global medical experts that oversee these things made it clear that it is in fact completely 100% quote natural to potentially be gay, lesbian, bisexual, or pansexual. We are not all by default supposed to be heterosexual. Which means, Mr. Gruel, you cannot talk somebody out of this condition. It's like trying to talk a short person into growing taller, or talking a left-handed person into being right-handed. It just isn't feasible. It is what it is, and there is no need for this hate, this bigotry, this spreading of false myths, fear-mongering, the garbage that continues to spew out of the Federal Conservative Party. It's sickening. Trans people, I want to specifically bring your attention to the fact that we still do not have basic explicit human rights protection at the federal level. And it was the Conservative government that said no. We've also seen the Liberals and the NDP fail in their efforts to engage this Conservative government to do the right thing. We've seen an NDP government try to shove a bill through Parliament, even though it was watered down to the point where it was useless. Fact. You can't just talk the talk, you gotta walk the walk. Where are all the trans people in politics? How come I, little me, Jennifer McCreeth in Avalon, Newfoundland, running for a brand new small party called Strength in Democracy, how come it's taken me to become the first openly trans person to run in a federal election. 148 years of Canada, 148 years of conservative and liberal parties. NDP, they've been around a while, not quite that long, but not one. Is it because we're not normal? Is it because you think we're stupid? I have a bachelor degree, it's sitting over there on the wall, which proves that I've got a brain in here. It takes talent to go to university and earn one of those things. I also held down nine separate jobs in the civil service of both federal governments of Canada as well as the provinces of Ontario, Newfoundland, and Labrador. I've also run nonprofit organizations. I've uh, run marathons. I'm just one of many trans people that have made tremendous, meaningful contributions to the world around them. And I'm getting sick and tired of the oppression, being pushed down, being denied opportunities. It's time for us to take a seat at this table. Canadians, LGB and T people, you need to pay attention to the news. You need to look at what Mr. Gruel and Mr. Harper are doing and saying. And we need to stand up and, and say no to this garbage, this bullshit. Don't vote for parties who are going to oppress you. Don't stay home. Get out there and vote for someone who actually will support you. Get on the phone or get on your computer, get in touch with your, find out who your candidates are and email them or phone them, find out what their stances are. Educate them. Make it clear to them that this is unacceptable. Make it clear to your organizations that you work for or volunteer for or represent. We need more LGBT people on our senior management. We need more LGBT people sitting on our boards of organizations. It's one thing to say that you accept us, it's another thing to demonstrate it by giving us a fair shot. Some people say, I have no chance in hell in winning this election and I don't even belong here. Why not? I bring more to the table than a lot of candidates and perhaps a lot more than Mr. Gruel. I don't pretend to be a doctor and I don't pretend to speak on issues I don't have credentials to speak about. On the other hand, I do add positive value to the communities I'm a member of. And I'm here to step up to the plate make sure that LGBT issues are on the table and were not forgotten or shoved under the, under the, the rug. 
Come on, Canada. There should be more outrage against this type of garbage. Step up to the plate. If you want a better Canada, be a part of that change. And if you live in Avalon, Newfoundland, Labrador, you can vote for me, Jennifer McCreeth. Strength and Democracy, the only political party that's ever run a trans candidate in the history of Canadian federal elections. Vote Jennifer.info to learn a little bit more about me, and thanks for watching.